Okay, my can, you ready? Is that, is that it? What's it? What's happening? I just want you to see the stand. What? Oh my God. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies. How dare you? You said newbies. And hatchlings. Did you guys see her? Because I don't know if you know, but you're allowed to feel the essence of her, but not see her according to her. My name is Marlene McCohen, this is Rocky, and today we are going to make a stand for Rocky. You remember that stand that George promised? They're looking for part two to be soon, not to be like in a month. I didn't say it was gonna be in a month. When's it gonna be? This weekend. Oh, good. Well, he's doing it today. God, my hair is flat. <laughs> Your hair looks funny too. <laughs> what did you do? Just come out of the like show? Wait, are we doing this right now? We should just take a picture and then do it on a different day. <laughs> no, we're doing this. Are you okay over there? You wanna come with me? Why? He's mine. He wants to be with me. Yay! Yeah, he wants to be with mommy. Today, we are building that stand. I literally look Let's bald that. in the corner. Today, George is building this stand. Hold on, can you put your finger on this part of my head where it looks like I'm bald? No, this, where do I look bald, George? Right there. <laughs> I can't do that was hard to do. That was like so hard. It's like, oh. <laughs> Too, look. Oh my god. All right, let's get it done. Gotcha. So you to cut some stuff? I'm ready for you to do some serious, like, building of this thing. Starbucks, are you gonna help? My measuring tape? Yeah, you asked me for a measuring tape. Yeah, this is like, like a baby's measuring tape. So what? That's what I use. Oh my god, he loves me so much more. Okay, Rocky, let's together sit here and help daddy. Oh, did you hear Merlini said help? Now I can use this hand to decipher what the heck the problem is. As you can tell, we don't need that many things. It looks more than it really is. So let's do this. That is what it's gonna look like, by the way, guys. It's actually yeah. gonna look bigger, this one. This one? We went a little bit bigger by accident. So then technically it would be cheaper than our last total. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little cheaper. Okay, so what's going on? I'm just making the middle. It's my center point. Here's our centerpiece. Wow. One hour later. Guys, I'm happy to report that this has been going extremely well. I'm very entertained. So much has happened. We have this here now, exactly where we had it 10 minutes ago. We're I'm trying to create a center, but it's like this. I need to cut a piece. Where's the screw? All you did was dig a hole. Okay, that's when we ready to go. Okay. And then we have these. Oh, you're getting those ready for later? Well, you want to get everything prepared so that we just connect it. Like oh, later. nice. Yeah, but how easy are they to take them off and wash them? You unscrew them. That's why I put these bottoms on them. Everything unscrews. You can actually pack this away if you wanted to. So, anyway, guys. It's like you're working very hard. I'm sorry, what? You're working very hard. You want to help? How can I help? I gotta, I'm running Open the camera. Open these up, man. Open them. I'm killing time. I'm making a film of this, George. Oh. <laughs> Wheel time. The idea is you want to spread them out to the farthest corner, so the further you can from each other, that's the best, because then there's more ground. And then if there's more ground, it's less chances of it of flipping over. Let's investigate the baldness. That's like the scooter in class. It's, it's lopsided. It's because... The wood is lopsided. The wood is bent. But it kind of, it kind of gives you the ability to climb up on things. Huh? You can go over stuff. Let's say right now you have a bump or something. Yeah. It will go over it. <laughs> okay, that'll be the benefit of that. Yeah, well, that's just what we have for now. Next piece is gonna be this guy. I'll come with the square in. <laughs> I'm naming this the fail. Mercury's in retrograde. 
We've come to this part now, guys. I got this ready now, and <laughs> if you'll see that I was able to place this bowl in here because all my materials were ready. I'm an outstanding delegator, as you can see. That's the most important Mara, part of it. this job. Hold it and spin it this way. What do you mean? Spin it. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> you gotta spin it. Ow! It has to be tight. What is that? It's the pipe that holds it. So, that's our stand. This is a big stand now. This is a midnight fail. It's not a fail. The platform is a fail. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's gonna be covered with the PVC. So, the bird really won't have access to any of the... Ow! But honestly, guys, if I was you, I'd just go to the store and buy some. And if I was me, I would. But you can also buy yourself a George for five ninety nine. That's all more too. No, five hundred and ninety nine. That's it. Thousand dollars. <laughs> five million dollars. Serious question: Like, who has these tools at home? You can use different tools. I mean, listen, people are gonna have to get tools to be able to make this. <laughs> What do you think, Boogie, of it? Somebody come get her. She's acting like a stripper. <laughs> Rocky, new career? Huh? We have the T in the middle. Where's the T? Your hand's over it. This is a T. We have a 90 on top. This is too big. This is humongous, George. I don't even think the base is gonna hold this. There's no way this is humongous. It's bigger than you, George. The whole point is it's for Rocky to have something to stand on. No one's ever gonna see the TV with Rocky in front on this. How is he even gonna reach in the bowl? <laughs> no, Rocky! No, you don't get it. There's a piece of wood here. He's not gonna reach in that bowl, George! Football. The football season. <laughs> Yo, kick it off. <laughs> I don't know if this is what we meant. No, this is not possible. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a pterodactyl at home, <laughs> maybe dinosaur. There you go. You got the perfect stand. A little overboard on the size here. <laughs> this is crazy, no? Yeah, it's for like a hawk or something. <laughs> Did you step up, please? Hey, bird, do you mind stepping up? Oh, do you want me to feed you? <laughs> but in all seriousness, George, what are we gonna do with this thing? Well, he won't be able to climb down for sure. <laughs> George, I won't even be able to feed him. Oh, maybe you could cut this pole. I know you can't what. Can't cut this pole. But yeah. Get a different size. No, but then you could get a um. Uh, the thing is, you want me to hurt. I saw that. What do you think we should do with it, Danny? Just in case um, the LA Chargers, their field goal falls, we can just deliver this one over and it can kick field goals through it. <laughs> just a backup, backup, you know. So the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, they're hot. Can land on it and then after he lands on it, it can kick field goals through it. <laughs> Look at, look, he has to stand on it to do it. <laughs> <laughs> thing is humongous. First of all, this was bigger on the other one. I yeah, it was. I told you that. It wasn't easy. No, it doesn't, but this is not possible in this house. It's taller than you. How are you going to even know what he's eating? Well, that's how you take these things off. And the wood <laughs> is going to be over here. It's too tall. Should we get a smaller one? How? Well, thank you guys. Wow. This is a video on how to make something too big. Now we'll show you in the next video how to make it the right size. <laughs> this was just to make sure you're all paying attention. The technique is still there. I mean, it's oh, it falls work. on you guys. Falls on you. It could be anything you want to be, but that. <laughs> Where are you going, George? What the heck is he doing? Okay. My homework!
You want to put it next to the prototype? <laughs> It's too lopsided, it's not good. Even if that one pole was just lower, it would be okay once you put the wood yeah, on it. Yeah, you change the size of this. And then That's all you have to do. That's it. Right. But the thing is, the bottom part is messed up. Yeah, but you gotta put the wood on it now. You have to get a new one. But everyone's gotta see how you put the wood on it. What do you mean? The wood. I gotta cut that. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I don't think Merlin got it, but we washed everything to make sure that it's perfectly clean and that you know you should remove any residue of anything on it. So that way the birds are safe. Number one thing that you want. Well, at least, at least the bird has clean bowls and we can't reach them. We can reach them. Can you? I'm pretty tall enough to reach them. Are you? You can, can reach them. Okay, my can, you ready? Come see this. I just want you to see the stand. What? But we were too, we were two way in. <laughs> like a field goal push. <laughs> That's what the joke was. <laughs> wow! Look at you. By the way, don't forget if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash, check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. I encourage you guys to check out my Feathered Fun Box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it, www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening.